Oh. Do you ever have one of those cooks that from the moment you start it, things just go horribly wrong? Um, I've had a few of them in the past and I was shooting a video for this very channel and all I can say is that everything that could have possibly went wrong, went wrong on that cook. So I thought I'd tell you about it just so you know that things don't always go to plan and it is okay to make a complete mess of a cook. See, the cook in question was Tacos Al Pastor. Tacos aren't a complicated cook and it's the first time I've tried Tacos Al Pastor. I had the recipe down, I wanted to give it a go and share it with you guys. It was the first time I was making corn uh, tortillas as well. I got myself a little taco press and stuff. I had chatted with Big Daddy Slims to try and get some ideas of how to cook it. Um, his method he has on his Instagram stories, which I will link down below, is perfect, but everything that went wrong with it was all my fault. So cook started off uh, with really getting the meat ready and getting it into the marinade. Now, the marinade I was doing was pineapple based, so there was pineapple just in there, which really breaks down the meat and the first issue I had was whenever I took the meat out of the marinade I had left it in there a little bit too long and I think the pineapple juice had really broken down the meat and trying to get it onto skewers it was just tearing apart and shredding apart into fibres so I was folding it on and wrapping it around I knew at that point okay this is going to be one of those cooks but I managed to get it all onto the skewers it was sitting ready to go onto the grill so I thought we'll push through I can make this happen so the next thing to think about then was the tacos themselves. So as I said, I was following Big Daddy Slim's method. His looked perfect. Seems simple enough. There's not very many ingredients going to them. So I got my flour ready. I measured everything out, made the dough, uh, made it to what I thought was the right consistency. But then I started second guessing myself and I wasn't sure if it was too wet or if it was too dry. And I added a little bit more water, then added a little bit more flour to dry it out a bit more. But I got it to the point where it felt like Play-Doh, um, and that is what Big Daddy Slims recommends. It feels like Play-Doh. That felt like Play-Doh in my mind. So I fired up the barbecue, let it come up to temperature, let it sit, take over for a while to make sure the ceramics had really absorbed heat, which is what you're supposed to do. Um, then there was a shower of rain came on, and I went inside and left it for a while because I can't really shoot videos in this shack because of this roof. And whenever it's raining on that roof, you guys would barely be able to hear me. So I let the barbecue sit. Commando Joe is efficient. It will sit at that temperature, no problem. Now, this is when the second problem occurred. Between lighting the barbecue, letting it come up to temperature for that length of time, uh, then going inside for, I would say a good 40 minutes or so uh, to let the rain pass, then coming back out, getting everything set up again, uh, fiddling about with cameras, my charcoal had started to die down and rather than adding more, I thought it will be fine. We'll just leave it. We can keep it ticking over and it will work fine. I was wrong. So if you've ever made tacos before, you know they don't need long in that pan. So to start off, my pan was not hot enough. I put it on, let it preheat a little bit, but because the coals had died down, it wasn't screaming hot. Uh, so the tacos weren't turning out very well. And because we were constantly in poking about at the tacos, the lid was always open, so the coals just burned away even faster. So at this point, I was like, oh, I just I just want to phone a tech away. This is getting annoying. But in the interest of getting the video done, I added some more coals to the barbecue, brought the temperature back up. Things were going okay again. We were back on track. Skillet got nice and hot. Tigos started turning out okay. They weren't puffing up the way they should be, um, but it was my first time trying them and I was being honest about it in the video. I didn't know if they were going to work or not. Then the mother of all rain showers came on. And I mean, I have never seen the rain hit the back wall of this shack before. Even in the heaviest of downpours, because uh, of the angle of the roof, it never hits there. But this was, do you know in those films where a boat's trapped out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in a massive storm, and there's rain coming onto the deck and sweeping across and it just looks like it's waves crashing across the deck. That's what it was like out here. Now I had cameras and lights and all sorts set up out here. I had this bench filled with ingredients. I had my back bench filled with ingredients. 
everything just got hammered and I had to grab everything, run in the house with it to avoid any of my camera equipment getting ruined. And at that point, I just said, do you know what? Forget about it. This cook is just not supposed to happen. Now, I'm not one for wasting food. So we finished off the pork and the tacos we had cooked, we ate them. I had the dish, it was pretty tasty. Uh, there are a few things I will change about it before I ever do it again. If I can ever bring myself to do it again, because that just created such bad memories. And for the rest of that night, I was in a foul mood. I was just like, this is a disaster. I'm never cooking on a barbecue again. But there's one thing I always say whenever I'm talking to people who are just getting started with barbecuing. And I was like, what is the worst that can happen? This is only food. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So what? and I completely disregarded my own advice. I threw a massive huff. I said, I'm done with it. I'm not doing any more. I just, I'll start cooking in the house. Uh, that's the kind of huffy person I am whenever things go so badly wrong. But I wanted to share it with you guys in case you have done the same thing. Maybe you are just starting out and you've had a few cooks in a row that are just a complete disaster. It is going to happen. It happens to everyone. I'm sure professional chefs have an absolute mare of a day sometimes. It just happens. So I'm fully ready for a slating. If you want to throw me some abuse in the comments, I'm more than happy. Uh, if it has happened to you before, hopefully you'll understand that it happens to everyone. And what you necessarily see in YouTube videos and on Instagram, uh, it's only a highlight reel of the stuff that actually works. So I wanted to put this one out there to show that everybody has bad cooks. The key thing you can do at that point is look back on the cook and think, what did I do drastically wrong? So the marinade, I left it in the marinade for too long. So to avoid that next time, I will marinade shorter. The barbecue was left with such a small amount of coal in it. It was a relatively fast cook. I didn't fill the charcoal basket all the way, but by the time I messed about for waiting for rain to pass over and getting everything ready and cameras set up, it just burned down far too much. So in future, fill the charcoal basket, James. And the last lesson is, maybe don't try making corn tacos on camera for the first time. Do them a few times before you actually give it a try. I thought it would be funny if they were a disaster. I was kind of expecting them to be a little bit of a disaster. Uh, thought it might make a funny video, but boy, was I wrong. Everything was a disaster. The tacos were the least of my worries at that point. So. If you've had an absolute disaster of a cook, I want to hear about it. Might make me feel a little bit better. Post it down in the comments below. Share your absolute disaster stories with everybody else so they can read through them and realize that it does happen to everyone. Now, huge thanks to my YouTube members for supporting the channel. And uh, not all videos are an absolute disaster, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Thanks for all the messages you guys have been sending recently, uh, talking about the videos and how it's inspired you to get on the stuff. That's what the channel is all about, not me being huffy because a cook gets messed up. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be a lot better than the last one. Thank you.